India is a land of contrasts. From its bustling cities to its quiet rural areas, it's a country that has captured the hearts and minds of people all around the world. But as the country continues to develop, there are challenges that must be faced, especially when it comes to healthcare. Hello everyone my name is Kishan Rabdiya and you are watching the Inside India Politics channel. The healthcare system in India is a mix of public and private services, but the government plays a crucial role in providing care to millions of people, especially those who cannot afford private healthcare. The primary healthcare system in India consists of sub-centers, primary health centers, and community health centers. These facilities are responsible for providing basic healthcare services to people living in rural and urban areas. The secondary healthcare system in India consists of district hospitals, which provide specialized healthcare services and emergency care. These hospitals play a vital role in ensuring that people get the care they need when they need it most. The tertiary healthcare system in India consists of specialized hospitals and medical colleges that offer advanced medical treatments, including surgery and specialized medical procedures. The government of India has launched several programs to address specific health issues, such as the National Health Mission, which aims to improve maternal and child health. And the government of India also runs several health insurance schemes, including the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, which provides health insurance coverage to vulnerable and economically disadvantaged families. While the public healthcare system in India faces several challenges, including inadequate funding and infrastructure, it plays a crucial role in providing healthcare services to millions of people. So the next time you are in India, take a moment to appreciate the efforts of the government in providing healthcare services to its citizens. It's an important part of the country's journey towards progress and development. However, despite the efforts of the government, the healthcare system in India still faces many challenges. One of the biggest challenges is the lack of adequate funding and resources. This often results in long waiting times, overcrowding, and insufficient supplies and equipment. Another challenge is the uneven distribution of healthcare services. While urban areas have access to advanced medical treatments and specialized hospitals, people living in rural areas often have limited access to healthcare services. Additionally, there is a shortage of healthcare professionals in India, particularly in rural areas. This can lead to overworked and understaffed healthcare facilities, which can impact the quality of care provided to patients. Despite these challenges, the government of India is continuously working to improve the healthcare system. In recent years, there have been efforts to increase funding for healthcare, improve infrastructure, and train more healthcare professionals. The government is also working to increase public awareness about the importance of healthcare, and to promote healthy lifestyle choices to prevent the spread of diseases. By addressing these challenges and working towards a more equitable and accessible healthcare system, the government of India is making progress towards ensuring that all citizens have access to quality healthcare services. So the next time you or someone you know needs healthcare services in India, remember that the government is working to provide the care you need. With continued support and investment, the healthcare system in India can continue to improve and benefit millions of people across the country. Let's take a closer look at some of the data that sheds light on the healthcare system in India. According to data from the National Health Accounts, in the fiscal year 2018-19, the total healthcare expenditure in India was approximately 3.6 trillion Indian rupees. Out of this, the government's share was about 22%. In terms of healthcare infrastructure, India has one hospital bed for every 1,844 people, which is lower than the World Health Organization's recommended ratio of one bed per 1,000 people. There is also a shortage of healthcare professionals in India, particularly in rural areas. According to data from the National Health Profile 2020, India has a shortage of over 600,000 doctors and 20, 00, 000 nurses and midwives. The availability of essential drugs is also a concern in India, with data from the World Health Organization showing that only about 60% of essential drugs are available in public healthcare facilities. These challenges often result in long waiting times, overcrowding, and inadequate healthcare services for many people across India. Despite these challenges, the government of India is taking steps to improve the healthcare system. Additionally, the government is working towards implementing the National Health Stack, a digital infrastructure that aims to make healthcare more accessible and affordable for all citizens. With continued investment and support, the healthcare system in India has the potential to provide high-quality, affordable healthcare services to all citizens, regardless of their location or economic status. So let's continue to support the efforts of the government in improving the healthcare system in India, and work together towards building a healthier and more equitable society. Let's take a closer look at some of the recent initiatives and their impact. One of the most significant healthcare initiatives in recent years has been the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana, or PMJ, launched in 2018. 
PMJ aims to provide health insurance coverage to over 100 million families in India, covering up to 5 lakh Indian rupees per family per year for secondary and tertiary hospitalization. According to data from the National Health Authority, over 2.4 crore hospital admissions have been authorized under PMJ since its launch, with a total authorized amount of over 36,000 crore Indian rupees. The government is also working to improve access to healthcare in rural areas through initiatives like the Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers, which aim to transform primary healthcare in India by providing comprehensive care including preventive, promotive, and curative services. According to data from the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, as of September 2021, over 81,000 health and wellness centers have been operationalized under Ayushman Bharat, providing essential health services to millions of people in rural areas. The government is also investing in training healthcare professionals and improving healthcare infrastructure. For example, the government has recently launched the National Medical Commission, which aims to reform medical education and improve the quality of medical professionals in India. In addition to these initiatives, the government is increasing its spending on healthcare. According to the Union Budget 2022-23, the government has allocated 86,200 crore Indian rupees for healthcare and wellness, an increase of over 16.5% compared to the previous year. These initiatives and investments are starting to bear fruit, but there is still a long way to go. With continued support and investment, the healthcare system in India can become more accessible, equitable, and effective, ensuring that all citizens can access high-quality healthcare services when they need them. According to a report by the World Health Organization, India has a shortage of 600,000 doctors and 2 million nurses. To address this shortage, the government is investing in medical education and training. For example, the government has recently launched the National Medical Commission, which aims to reform medical education and improve the quality of medical professionals in India. Another major challenge facing India's healthcare system is the lack of access to essential medicines and vaccines. According to a report by the World Health Organization, nearly 65% of the population in India lacks access to essential medicines. Another challenge facing India's healthcare system is the high burden of non-communicable diseases, including cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and cancer. According to the World Health Organization, non-communicable diseases account for 61% of all deaths in India. To address this issue, the government is investing in the prevention and management of non-communicable diseases. For example, the government has launched the National Program for Prevention and Control of Cancer, Diabetes, Cardiovascular Diseases and Stroke, which aims to reduce the burden of these diseases through early detection, prevention, and treatment. In addition to these challenges, there are also significant disparities in healthcare access and outcomes between different regions and social groups in India. To address these disparities, the government is implementing targeted interventions, such as health awareness camps and mobile health clinics, to improve access to healthcare services in underserved areas. According to a report by the National Health Profile, India spends only 3% of its GDP on public healthcare, which is one of the lowest in the world. This lack of funding has led to inadequate infrastructure, shortages of essential medicines and medical supplies, and a shortage of healthcare professionals in public healthcare facilities. To address this issue, the government has launched several health insurance schemes, such as the Ayushman Bharat scheme, which aims to provide health insurance coverage to 500 million people, particularly those from low-income households. In addition to health insurance schemes, the government is also investing in primary healthcare services and preventive healthcare measures. For example, the government has launched the Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers program, which aims to establish 1.5 lakh health and wellness centers across the country to provide comprehensive primary healthcare services, including free diagnostic tests, medicines, and consultations. In India, the burden of disease is high, with communicable diseases such as tuberculosis and malaria still a significant threat. According to the National Health Profile, the top 10 leading causes of death in India in 2019 were ischemic heart disease, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, stroke, lower respiratory infections, tuberculosis, neonatal preterm birth complications, diarrheal diseases, road injuries, cirrhosis, and diabetes. According to a report by the National Sample Survey, nearly 70% of healthcare expenditure in rural areas is out of pocket, with many families struggling to pay for essential medical services. To address this issue, the government has launched several initiatives, including mobile healthcare vans, telemedicine services, and health camps in rural areas. However, there is still a significant gap in healthcare access and outcomes between rural and urban areas. Immunization coverage is also a concern in India. According to the National Health Profile, only 62% of children between the ages of 12 and 23 months received all basic vaccinations in 2019. 
lifestyle related diseases such as obesity diabetes and hypertension are on the rise in india according to a report by the indian council of medical research the prevalence of diabetes in india is expected to increase from 7.8% in 2010 to 9.8% in 2030 despite these challenges the indian government has taken significant steps towards improving the healthcare system for example, the government has launched the National Health Policy 2017, which aims to achieve universal health coverage and improve the quality of healthcare services in India. Another significant issue in India's healthcare system is the high out-of-pocket expenses for medical treatment. According to a report by the National Sample Survey, out-of-pocket expenditure accounted for 63% of the total healthcare expenditure in India in 2014. This high financial burden often leads to delayed or inadequate treatment, with many families unable to afford essential medical services. The lack of adequate health insurance coverage also exacerbates this issue, with many people unable to access quality healthcare services due to financial constraints. To address this issue, the Indian government has launched several health insurance schemes, including the Pradhan Mantri Jan Arogya Yojana PMJ, and Rashtriya Swasthya Bhima Yojana RSBY, which provide health insurance coverage to millions of people across the country. These schemes aim to reduce the financial burden of medical expenses and improve access to quality healthcare services for all citizens. In addition to health insurance schemes, the government is also investing in preventive healthcare measures and primary healthcare services. The Ayushman Bharat Health and Wellness Centers program, launched in 2018, aims to establish 1.5 lakh health and wellness centers across the country to provide comprehensive primary healthcare services, including free diagnostic tests, medicines, and consultations. The government is also focusing on improving healthcare infrastructure and training healthcare professionals to provide quality healthcare services. The National Medical Commission, launched in 2019, aims to overhaul medical education in the country and improve the quality of healthcare services provided by medical professionals. In conclusion, India's healthcare system faces several challenges, including inadequate access to healthcare services, high out-of-pocket expenses, and a burden of communicable and lifestyle-related diseases. However, the government is taking significant steps to address these challenges, including investing in healthcare infrastructure, preventive healthcare measures, health insurance schemes, and primary healthcare services. By prioritizing healthcare, India can build a more equitable, effective, and accessible healthcare system for all citizens, improving the health outcomes and well-being of millions of people across the country. Thank you for watching this video. Please share your thoughts and comments on India's healthcare system in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content like this.